We're doing this a little bit earlier today due to some scheduling conflicts. We're not going to be able to do it at our usual standard time. But welcome to the Trade Finds and Adjustments for Tuesday, the first day of October. Boy, is this year going by fast. And obviously today, let's see here. Today, the market fell 1% plus on what? Well, we, uh, we went through an ISM number, an ISM number that now came in well below the expected number. Our ISM manufacturing came in at, now let's see, 47.8 versus an estimated 50.2. And there are a couple reasons why this came in so low. It came in so low because we are in a trade war. <laughs> Duh. Um, we're not going to get uh, the stuff out that we need to. Which today significantly hurt our market. Now, let me pull a couple pictures in here because I think it's important. You don't have to trade every day. Today would be a great example of a day to not place a trade. Well, I'm gonna follow the direction. The problem with following a direction like today is we're going to run into, oh, we're gonna run into I say it. That's not what I wanted. Give me a quick second. We're going to run into um, volatility. And let me touch base on volatility here in just a second. I'm trying to get trying to get what I'm trying to find here. And let's see if I can't get a text box inserted because there we go. The problem with Let's increase this just a little bit. The problem with trading today on Monday or last week was volatility kicked up and you missed the move. I, I always hear this, right? But, but we have a possible, right, um, impeachment. And we need more protection. So I'm just going to say not true. You didn't. In fact, you didn't need more protection. What you need is a history lesson. Now, if anyone remembers what happened the last time Clinton was impeached in 98, our market bounced back very quickly. So all those poor people that heard impeachment and ran away and started to protect stuff, the next day, everything bounced back up and you could have protected better on that day. Um, panic. 
panic, poor judgment, longer, t longer term time horizon. And there's no set time that that has to be. But giving yourself time to see the big picture makes a day like today when the market is down 1.23%, which means I should be down $123,000. I'm able to be down only 23,632. But it wasn't protected um, last week. And that's not true. Some things weren't protected. I wasn't protecting Baidu. I wasn't necessarily protecting technology. Doesn't make sense to protect it on the big down day because you're going to have a big up day right afterwards. You do want to protect it towards the end of the month. But you need to understand and learn cycles. Learn cycles. And that's in regards to buying stock. In fact, I'm going to put that down one more. Let me change this and put it down one more. Learn cycles in regards to buying stock. Options, markets, rebalancing. Um, fun turnover. What else could I put in here? Seasonal. Um, news, events. There's a lot that you can learn that's going to be helpful for you. Part of what I'm talking about in not freaking out and trying to protect Baidu at 100 and giving it one extra day, we've got some protection on Baidu up at 107. I'm going to put them both in here, so I might as well just take them both. Find out which one's Baidu. Baidu's the first one. And what we were able to do what we were able to do is do nothing more than protect Baidu on Tuesday of last week. Freaking out on the impeachment down day last Monday cost you money by adding protection adding protection on that day during the volatility and turmoil Dumb. When you could have waited a day and then been in a protection place, that instead of losing you money, you're actually still up $2.75 on a stock position that you'll obviously cake those profits and roll it down for earnings. Kevin, we're losing half our money on the leave long calls. Well, again, with all due respect, that is not too true. 365 divided by 627, 58. So you're only losing 41.8%. Close, but these positions are in place with only having 6% of the risk of owning the stock. A lot of people ask me, why don't you protect long puts like you do stock ownership? I protect them because the protection is already in the cost of the long put or the long calls, excuse me. Why do I not protect the long calls like I do stock ownership? 
I don't protect them with a the long put. I don't do it because the protection is already in the price of the call. I still can use, just because I trade options, I can still use a dollar cost averaging methodology to benefit myself and help myself in this position. It's a pretty simple way to look at it. And obviously, if there's a big drawdown, I can. But it's more of a sit and wait because there's so much time in it. And I still have plenty of time to be profitable in the position. With that said, there are some things you could have done. Hopefully, you took profits on the... Eighty-one cent Verizon, October four, nineteen. Bear call that was a sixty-three sixty, and booked about should be in that hopefully fifty cents range. Costco. The Costco in the money bull call is also doing okay. And you just need a little time decay or a bump higher. When you're looking at Costco, you can take a quick grab on the, uh, uh, come on. Do a quick grab on the chart. Costco is holding the 180 right down to test the 50 day simple moving average. As long as it stays above 180, we should be in pretty good shape. Any bounce up tomorrow basically guarantees us of being able to take a profit on that position. And it would be probably a 10% profit on a position that, thank goodness, we want a little bit in the money. Thank goodness when we were looking at it, we said, you know what? We can be aggressive at 285, or we can go down to 280 and be protected. Real is helping us out by putting it below a 50-day simple moving average. Now, again, it always comes down to, but we could have made more or you could have lost more. Really, one of your positions to look at is to, to take a peek and to see that you're doing exactly what you need to or supposed to do so you don't put yourself into a coop position that is a loser right now. Um, I don't... I'm not following this. This is one of the client's trades, but I wanted to use Coop as an example. And a lot of people say, well, I'm using the five and the 20 and so forth. If you use Coop, the key was that 50 day. If you're breaking the 50 day, you need to reevaluate your position. And obviously, the 50 day is definitely being broken. And this is the day, that second day, when you need to see if it's going to come back up. It obviously is not going to break it right here. So now you're looking at some type of adjustment position for some credit. And it has to be above the 130, the 138. If we were to take a peek at Coop, let's see if I can get us going here. Give me a quick second, and let's get this up. Coop, come on up. Where is Coop at? Well, we need everything to be a little slow internet right now. 
probably have some kids that are downloading or watching a movie. But looking at Coop, looking at time in October 150, 160. So it is most likely time to roll these 160s that you basically only have 20 cents left in them. So you're looking for 250. Would be to a, again down to 150. You might even be able to do 140, but let's take a look at our chart one more time. Right? 50 days sitting at 138. Maybe do a 145 for safety. Here to roll these down. I would dare say on Coop, you could probably go to a 145 and only be down net net maybe 50 cents in your trade nice bounce up today taking a quick peek um wow it really did well against the market today i wonder if it had its earnings uh, no initiated coverage with a 180 price target Hmm. Couldn't get above its 50 day though. Couldn't get above its 50 day. Maybe wait a day or two, but initiating a 145 adjustment on Coop, playing that 50 day. Now that we've definitely broken and it's tested it, I would definitely be looking for taking this position and adjusting it to create. Well, I'm going to say you're going to have to do a 2, go to 145 for 190. You could do 140. Mm. 140 could get you a dollar. Could get you a dollar potential profit. Interesting position to look at. Interesting adjustment to be doing. But that could guarantee you a profit of a, roughly a dollar at 50 cents in your trade. So no reason to push the issue today. I would not do a new trade. Looking at where you're at is usually helpful. Right now, protective puts are on um, Apple shares. Baidu shares, Boeing shares, Disney shares, Visa shares, um, Zion's Bank shares, Bank of America shares. What else would we have it on? Uh, Ford shares, Facebook shares. Um, and that's about it. That's, I mean, that's where we're at. But we're making sure that we're protected on our shares. We are not necessarily protecting leap long calls because the protection is in the price of the leap, which is five to seven percent of the overall value of the stock and we plan on dollar cost averaging the position as needed no reason to forget your stock options that you have no pun intended there options to become profitable options to to use dollar cost averaging uh you can use those things it'll also work on on uh on options treat it like an option you bought yourself plenty of time plenty of time to be okay plenty of time where you don't need to rush the issue and you should be okay overall by dollar cost averaging some of those positions. 
Guys, appreciate you having you here with me today. I apologize, I can't get this out live to you. I'm gonna upload it and get it out to the subscriber base. Have a wonderful day. Don't push the issue. Don't push a trade. And if you're placing a trade in panic, that's your first red flag that was probably pretty stupid to place the trade. For those of you that were placing trades in on Monday, use it as a learning experience. You could have gotten filled at Bidy on Tuesday when it was back up at 106 or Wednesday at 107. Learn how to read your chart, make your decisions on smart items versus not uh, versus not just panicking to throw and overpay for protection and lose yourself quite a bit of more money. Guys, take care. Appreciate you being here with me today. Uh, off you go, and I will talk with you later. Bye-bye.